Hello, in this lesson we are going to look at how blockchain can help the proof of ownership. So proof of ownership is basically do I own something? It's essentially that simple. So we can end the video right here. That's it. Now, I'm only joking. For starters, yeah, we know what proof of ownership is, but we haven't actually covered how blockchain can affect it. So let's dive right in. One of the things which I'm sure you're fully aware of by now if you've been following the other lessons in this series and that is is it promotes that it cannot be altered or counterfeited due to the cryptography that is employed and the val all, the val all the validation checks. I've got videos covering all the cryptography, the hashing, the Merkle trees. Feel free to check them out to see on a more technical level how it all works. Essentially, it is immutable and this helps ensure the validity of, well, ownership. And you might be thinking, okay, I have a pair of trainers for example i know they're my trainers i know my phone is mine i know my house is mine i know regardless of the value i know what's mine and i know what isn't mine so how can blockchain really help well for, for one example is imagine if i have a rare pair of shoes and it is very common for these shoes to be counterfeited because they are in high demand hardly anyone has them and they cost a lot of money and they're quite easy to counterfeit to a you know a reasonable quality so a lot of people are immediately can't tell, especially when you're selling it online via some service like eBay and using blockchain we'll be able to have a audit trail audit trail so if this is all track we'll be able to see okay where did that individual get it from did they get it from let's say a retailer if they did who is that retailer let's see the legitimacy of that retailer okay they are legitimate because they bought it from a validated seller if they didn't buy it from let's say a retailer then they bought it from someone else they bought it from someone else it came from somewhere initially so all of that will allow you to pinpoint where it came from so you can see if it is fake or not which is a, which is really really useful and the fact that this all could be done without having to spend any extra money or to insure it basically an insurance in itself so imagine if you go on ebay and you go onto a product page it could automatically essentially have a stamp of approval so all products have some sort of id so some sort of unique id linked to them in this blockchain world and that id is linked to a individual which also has a unique id about them linked to them and that says this individual owns it if some if they sell it then essentially the title the the way we will talk about property and houses as we have in a separate video gets transferred to somebody else and now they legally own it and on that product page you could have a stamp of approval saying this user is verified it is also verified automatically that this product with this key belongs to this individual and they could put a percentage rating or as well based on several factors saying that okay it's a 98% and anything above 90% is very good and it's definitely worth buying it anything below it's like mm, we're not too sure about the seller or maybe we're not too sure about the validity of the actual product but we're pretty certain if it's close to 90 and then you could also instead of just seeing the stamp of approval you could see a breakdown what part is getting what percentage so you can see exactly why it is a 90 or above why it isn't certified so you can verify that the seller 
verify that the seller is the owner that is extremely useful this can help identify identify stolen and or lost goods and or lost goods essentially is the person that's selling it do they own it oh that's what we automatically i mean that's what we realistically want to know and this could be done automatically and it provides more rights to buyers and sellers so obviously from the buyer's perspective it ensures validity but from the seller's perspective it ensures that the person they're selling to is who they say they are they're not a con artist they're not somebody that buys a lot of items and then just returns them because there are people out there that do that i've heard about people that do it via amazon and what they do they just buy the item use it for a little while and because amazon they've cracked down a bit now i've heard but they used to be very very loose with their terms and conditions and people took advantage of it so they would buy something use it even use it for months and months and then just return it get a full refund back and if you see it shows that this individual is doing this a lot with a lot of retailers and sellers the buyer might think you know what i don't want to sell to you because people always talk about rights for they always talk about sellers rights i mean no sorry they always talk about buyers rights but ultimately there should be and and there are rights for sellers as well and we need to ensure that all parties are secure all parties are protected because at one point the seller might become a buyer the, and the buyer might become a seller so they want to ensure that if they make that transition that they are protected it helps us to stay anonymous so if we're buying something and we're selling it even though we're buying and selling it i might buy something and you might sell something i might not know your id i mean your identification where you live necessarily your email address your actual name and you might not know the information about me but i'll have a unique id that is linked to you you have a unique id that is linked to me and this will verify verify all parties to be legitimate yeah, let's write that out again to be legitimate which is a really really powerful tool so you can automatically verify parties are legitimate anonymously so i can buy something don't know, need to know about you but ensure that you aren't a con artist and we can do this via audit trials but they don't need to tell me who you are where you live they just need to tell me though this is the sort of stuff you may or may not have done from an abstract level maybe the seller and the buyer wants to be a bit more transparent they could have the option to set themselves as more like make their profile more public so you can see who it is or email address or or some more basic information of what they have done in the past and ultimately it provides a audit trail of who has owned it and who does currently own it and all of this all of this provides automatic insurance without any extra fees which is extremely useful usually insurance costs a lot of money you're paying per month or per year or per year and before long it, it can get to very it, the actual cost of the insurance can get very close to the actual overall cost of the product but using this method it could be automatically insured not that they're 
couldn't be insurance on top of that because certain individuals depending on what you're buying how expensive it is you may want extra insurance that is fine but you're providing some basic level of insurance which is very very useful and i think all parties should have basic level insurance just automatically provided and an audit trial will help provide that so if you have any questions feel free to reach out if there was anything that we covered in the video that you didn't quite understand feel free to rewind go over it again and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next lesson